With nearly 10 days of skiing under our belt, including three opening days, this has by far been our most successful early season skiing to date. After riding with Papa Joe out at Keystone yesterday for his first day on the hill, we head out to Breckenridge to experience their earlier than anticipated opening day. Just the backpack. Yep. All right. Is this the way to ski. Water. Yeah, I love it. No, that's the way to ski, man. You got the little mobile rig. How's for the, the night in the van? I love the van, man. The van night was comfortable. I sleep great in there. Toasty, warm, and comfortable. Lucas and Luna Express, there right? All right. I'll see you, man. I love yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, yep. You I'll I'll call you later. Okay. Yeah. Stay safe. Good morning, so welcome to another episode of season three. I just drove about an hour to Eagle County Airport. Super exciting day today because Breckenridge Mountain is opening. Breckenridge is one of my favorite mountains in Colorado, and so I'm stoked um, they open up a little bit early. So we have to now drive back east an hour to get back to uh, to that area. So uh, that's that's the plan today. Check out Breckenridge opening day and just enjoy it. Beautiful sunrise going on. So. What a start to uh, this beautiful Wednesday. Yo, you mind, you mind if I park on the end there? Cool, thanks guys. Morning, dude. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good, dude. Welcome Good back, happy you. the driver's safe. Yeah, dude, I drove yesterday at like 3 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Rip Keystone for a few hours, so. Heck, yeah. yeah. Dude, the edit you did was sick. Thanks, man. Really yeah, that was, dude, I, again, I appreciate the opportunity, man. Yeah. That cool. jacket's fresh, I like too. It. I like the camo. You guys literally were helping me park during the premiere of today's video, and so we made it out to the... Uh, I think it's the lower gondola lot. I'm literally right at the base of some gondola. And it's free, which is nice. I think only for a limited time. But uh, getting fueled up, got some eggs. Uh, still on the Canadian bacon hit for now. And some Pico to uh, top it all off. And uh, I think we're at peak eight is the uh, the one that's that's open today. Wednesdays have certainly proven to be quite the day here because... Um, we have to live stream later tonight, which we put a lot of time and energy into. So that mixed with an opening day and I'd love to freshen up before the stream. It can just kind of all, all kind of happens really quickly by the time we get off the hill and everything like that. So Wednesdays tend to be a lot of fun, lots of stoke going on. Thank you, Lucas K for sponsoring uh, Lunas Chemex. <laughs> Go. Do I have everything? I sure hope so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Super stoked. Not much else to say. Let's go. Squad. I met a, uh, not a lifty or just someone who worked on the mountain. Her name was Parker and she gave me some wonderful information on what to expect today. So looking forward to it. It is very windy today though. So I think we really have just one run off the Colorado Super Chair open. Chair five, I believe is open as well, but I think it just takes you a little bit lower down. So this is kind of like the best option. So first run out here at Breck, day 10 on the hill. So it kind of deserves a little celebration, I think, doesn't it? So yeah, let's check out what we get, what we're working with here at Breck. So here we go. I'm gonna cut underneath here. Oh, we got a few 
two options, okay. Four o'clock. Let's go down this one. So this is a family zone. Springmire. I must say, I forgot just how beautiful Breckenridge Mountain is. Like, the trees, like, it, they just, like, look differently here. Bunch of shredders out, for sure. Nice little run. I'd like to push over to the uh, sun a little bit more, but behind this car over here. Nice. Nice little pitch here. Not bad. There's like a bunch of different ways you can go. Just stay this left side for now. Here. There's some nice, some good snow over here on the side. No jumping zone. That deer just hit a six red eagle. Homies are shredding today. Like another opening day stoke. Like it's hard not to be super stoked on an opening day. Just look at the view. It's like. Oh, my legs are tired. Definitely gotta get warmed up. I'm gonna slow up through here for sure. Rest zone, people below. No need to go shredding through there for no reason. But nice. Little opening day action. For sure. not bad for an opening day like super nice pitch really not bad and honestly look at the lines like lines are not bad for a Breckenridge opening day it's like you will 100% take that other run it's called four o'clock I did not know there was gonna be two runs open so that's pretty nice so let's try this one seems like a little bit less people almost got the whole run to myself so we got a little bit bigger turns today it's kind of like a weird fall line here it's like falling down across the mountain rather than straight down but Kind of opens back up here. Some weird snow. It's like not icy, but not a lot of grip either. So, merging, I believe, yeah. So, heads up, super heads up on the merges. Should be good. So you could take that lift up and get off right here. I got you. So you get a little bit more vert by going all the way up, obviously. Uh, this is cool. Oh, they even let you kind of get some. A little bit. Whoa, that's like a rock. <laughs> yeah, we're going back. That's just like danger waiting to happen, but kind of cool. Like I said, interesting fall line, but really nice run to just like kind of get your feet underneath you. Oh, 
while just cruising. That was definitely nice on the side. Now we gotta merge across. Back to singles. But seriously guys, look, this float, I missed the singles line. My vision, I lost my depth. Hello. Thank you. you have a YouTube. What up? I do, yeah. I follow it. What's your name? Matt. Matt, that's me, man. I'm looking. I'm gonna try so hard to fade away. That's why I love the JJs. The JJ is so soft in the tip and tail and there's no edge on it. So you can literally just press and there's no edge you have to worry about. And it's so soft up there. But at the same time, it's a longer and thicker ski, so you have a bit more rigidity. So it's a super versatile ski. It's good, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Sweet. Yeah. Shot? Yeah, trying to. <laughs> it's always a struggle and then yeah. see what I get at the end of the day. But... Right. We will be looking out for the video. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Looks like there is a rec center just up the street here in Breckenridge. It's a little bit more expensive than the one in Silverthorne, but uh, I might just try it out just to have something new and uh, see how it is here. But I do need to shower. It's been, again, I think three days since I've showered. And to be courteous to our live stream later tonight, it's probably in everyone's best interest if I shower beforehand. So while it is usually an enjoyable process, showering can be, uh, definitely is a process. So it takes a little bit of time. So we're gonna get a move on over there. So I have plenty of time. Check it out, make sure it's all good. I think it's like eight bucks a day for a shower pass and like 18 for a day pass, which is just, it's really, really steep. So compared to Silverthorn was $5 for a shower pass and 14 for a like daily admission workout, everything else. So I'll load up the van and try to find this rec center. Yeah, yeah, it's eight dollars for a shower. Or if you come in the last hour, it's only six bucks. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it now. That's cool. Sure. I know that shower was on the expensive side, but oh my god, that water pressure was so nice, um, and they were super clean too, which was nice. So eight dollars was actually. I don't know if it's worth it, but. It was pretty damn worth it. It's gnarly out there. Oh my God. Dish is all iced over. That is gnarly. Look at that thing. Looks like we got a solid dusting. Can I do this without falling down? 
I gotta come back for you guys. I have to now rip, I uh, gotta find a parking spot here. It's about 8.30 at night. Let me know what you thought of Breckenridge opening day and I'll see all of you guys hopefully tomorrow. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.